In the confined space of the tunnel, there's not much room for maneuver, and it's pitch dark. For Shakespeare and the pups, the situation is desperate. They're moving deeper into the burrow in fear of their lives. Eusarian has missed all the action. He spent the morning on his own. Male meerkats occasionally leave their groups to go in search of females, and it appears Eusarian has gotten lucky. Despite the action in the Whiskers territory, the only meerkat that he's come across is Lonely Tosca. She was evicted from the Whiskers by Flower, and she's unrelated to Eusarian, so she would be an ideal mate. Unfortunately, there's one thing standing between him and Tosca. Carlos, a roving male from the Lazuli, has recently mated with Tosca, and he's still sticking close to her. As Carlos tries to warn Eusarian away, Eusarian only has to stand his ground to make his presence felt. Carlos wouldn't stand a chance in a fight with this much older and bigger meerkat. But he doesn't give up his females easily. It's time for another game of chicken. As Carlos sneaks closer to his rival in an attempt to scare him off, Eusarian calls his bluff and chases him away for good. But Eusarian's been caught out in the open just at the wrong moment. While Carlos has a handy hiding place and Tosca dives for cover, Eusarian has to make a run for it. The girls won't be helping him feather his nest today. Flower has more pressing things to deal with. The whereabouts of her precious litter are her big priority now. She heads below ground to look for signs of life. Deep within the burrow complex, it's a huge relief to discover parsley, basil, and rose are none the worse for their ordeal. But she's still got to find Columbus and Shakespeare. Out of the shadows, Columbus appears. He's also safe and well. But Shakespeare is nowhere to be seen. After such a traumatic day at Meerkat Manor, grooming is more important than ever. As evening draws in, there's still no sign of Shakespeare. Next morning, there's a lot for everyone to deal with. Yesterday was traumatic. But life has to go on. Flower wants the conditions to be just right before she leads out the foraging party. After all, today is going to be a landmark day for the pups. When Flower's ready to go, everyone springs into action. Guards are posted to watch over the young pups, and everyone heads off quickly. Crucial to the success of any foraging expedition is the family lookout system. 
While most of the gang have their heads down foraging, they rely on other group members to keep their eyes on the sky for danger. Among the lookouts doing their duty today is Mitch. He was part of Flower's first litter of the year and is fast approaching adulthood. His increasing maturity means that if he puts out a warning call, then the family takes notice. But it wasn't long ago that he relied totally on his family to watch over him. As a tiny three-week-old pup, his first day out of the burrow was almost his last. Kinkajou, one of Mitch's teenage sisters, whisked him off into the bush and promptly abandoned him for something more exciting. As the minutes ticked by, his chances of getting home alive were getting slimmer and slimmer. Luckily for Mitch, his big brother Shakespeare came to the rescue. Mitch isn't the only one who owes his life to heroic Shakespeare. The kids are alive and well too. On today's foraging trip, they've got to do their best to keep up, despite their little legs, which make even short distances feel like miles. Venturing this far from the burrow is a new experience for Parsley, Basil, and Rose, so they stick together. Columbus, on the other hand, is more adventurous. He's already been out with the adults and is proving to be a fast learner. He's been watching Einstein dig for food, but although he's grasped the basic technique, it'll be a bit longer before he's able to catch his own meal. Today's foraging adventure has led them far from the burrow, and in some spots, the danger isn't always that obvious. Devil's thorn flowers aren't too tall for the grown-ups. They can look over the top. But for a pup that measures less than three inches, or the size of an average index finger, this is like a giant forest. Everyone's got to be careful not to lose any of the pups. Luckily for Basil, Mitch is around to keep an eye on him and leads him to safety. It's not long before Columbus must stop digging practice and start to head for home. But today, it looks like Flower is leading them to a new burrow. Moving to a new patch makes them extra cautious. It's just as well as they've wandered into an area that's teeming with birds of prey. But eagle-eyed Mitch is on to them and sounds the alarm. Within seconds, his warning calls send the family tearing for the cover of their nearest bolt hole. Thanks to his maturity and sharp eyes, Mitch has the family safely below ground, and it's clear that he's taking his responsibilities very seriously. He's still scanning the skies for danger and keeping up the warning calls to stop anyone from coming out. Finally, the danger passes, and Mitch leads the way and runs off into the open. One by one, the family follow his lead. As well as being a stand-in for Shakespeare, Mitch has the potential to be a dominant male, like his father, Zaphon. But for this to happen, he would have to leave his family and start his own group. Casanova Carlos from the Lazuli appears to be doing just that. He's back by Tosca's side, and the two of them are getting along particularly well. Carlos may well have left his family in the hope of starting his own group. If he can recruit Tosca and a few other stray female meerkats, they could potentially start their own gang. This could be the start of something big for Tosca. She won't be able to survive on her own for much longer. But only time will tell 
of her future lies with Carlos. At the Whiskers new borough, everyone's settling in. The four tiny pups have had quite an adventure today. And for the adults, all the child supervision has been exhausting. But the effort was worth it. The newest recruits have made it to their new home unscathed. And with everyone safe and fed, it's time to relax after what have been a couple of momentous days. Shakespeare has not been seen since defending the pups from the Lazuli. Flower and Zaphod have had an enormous amount to cope with. With so many lively youngsters coming up the ranks, it can only be a matter of time before the Whiskers are under new management. For now, Flower and Zaphod can take a well-earned rest, surrounded by their wonderful, courageous little family of survivors. But winter's fast approaching, and rival gangs of meerkats will start to spread out in search of ever scarcer resources. With Big Psy and the Lazuli watching their every move, there are sure to be more problems in store at Meerkat Manor. Next season on Meerkat Manor. What has become of heroic little Shakespeare? And what will the future hold for Flower and the Whiskers gang after the long Kalahari winter?